Hello friends, let's have a look at how the transactions work in SQL Server Integration Services. In SQL Server Integration Services, you can set the transaction option property at uh, container level, package level or task level. It can contain any of these three values. One is required, supported and third one is not supported. When we say required, it just specifies that the container will cause a new transaction to be started. Now what is a transaction is basically anything, any operation that you do in the task or container with the database, it just says that open the transaction and afterwards after your work is done, commit the transaction. When we say required, it just specifies that the container will cause a new transaction to be started unless the parent container already has a transaction in which case the parent's transaction will be joined for example let's say take a case of a package in the package if you specify this one is required so it will check that does it already have a transaction uh, means for example the case can be basically uh, you are invoking a package you are calling a package from another package in that case, if it is required in the earlier one as well as here, if it is if it already has a transaction in the parent package, then that one will be made use of. Now take the another case. Let's say at the task level, you can also have this one as required, which will mean that it will just check if the parent one has a transaction. And in case it has, it will join that. The second one is supported. It means that it will participate in a transaction if the parent container started one and this one is the default one. For example, let's say at the package level you have required, it means that it will start a transaction in key or it will join a transaction means transaction will always exist. When we have supported, it will make use of the transaction at the package level. Now let's say at the package level you have supported as well and here also at the task level we also have supported which will mean that both are working on their own basically uh, means uh, at, the, at the task level also it will start its own new transaction. For example if a package with four execute statements starts a transaction, transaction option at the package level is required and all four transactions are supported. The database updates performed by execute SQL tasks are rolled back if any of the task fails. Basically, it is as good as you are saying that uh, start transaction, begin transaction and after that you are saying execute statement 1, execute statement 2, execute state 3, execute 4 and then in the end you are saying commit transaction and there you are in the end you have error handling so any error comes it will come here wherein you will be rolling back the transaction. However, if the package does not start a transaction, transaction mode is supported. So you, you have begin transaction and end transaction at each statement level. So each in the, all the four statements are not bound by transaction and no database updates except the ones performed by failed tasks are rolled back. And the last one is no, not supported. Do not join an existing transaction. This means that changes will not be rolled back even if the parent container started the transaction. So uh, basically it, it is working as a silo irrespective of the parent one. It will start its own transaction and no changes will be rolled back. So let's see an example of this. In the database side, let's create our table with ID as primary key and description is already no object so maybe let me just drop it F5 and I create the table here and here in I add four SQL task one task two task and three task Let's add three of them. And at the package level, what we have is transaction option by default is supported and same will be for them as well. Transaction option is supported. So let me just join them. One, two, and three. 
client here and I say make use of the connection. I have already created the connection with the database and here and I say insert into transaction test ID values first see I'm just copying it and let me see uh, if it is okay I say I have selected bypass prepare as false we can just say if repair is okay no there is an error out here or instead of one I have entered exclamation mark Let's go check beforehand. Click on OK. And similarly, here I select the same connection and same query but with different ID. And this one is second. Click on OK. You can add it. And here in the same connection, and we are entering the same value as we had entered was for the very first statement. It means that this one, this particular one, should fail. Now, if I run this now, what will happen is at the package level we have supported. It means that to not start a transaction, herein we have supported. But this particular statement will require a transaction. So for this particular statement, it will run in a silo. It is start the transaction and begin the transaction, execute the statement and come here. And same for this one and same for this one. But this third one will fail. And we'll see that what happens. That is, do these get committed to the database or not? So let me say execute the package. So these two succeed and the last one fails as expected. Now, as per the theory, both of them should get committed to the database. So select F5. You can see first and second are there. Now, let's say truncate table transaction test. Okay, because we'll make some changes. Now, what I'll do is I'll change at the package level this one to required. means that this will start a new transaction and the supported one will make use of the transaction at the package level. So let me say execute this one again. These two succeed but this one fails. But as per the theory since this one is making use of transaction started at the package level and this one is also. So what will happen? What should happen is this should not get committed. So let's see. F5. We do not get any data here. Now, to see the third one, what I'll do is um, I'll add a sequence container should be here. Yeah, we have the sequence container. In this one, let's say I add this one. Execute SQL one and this one, which means that I am entering ID as one comma first, and this one is entering ID as one comma first again. Means that this task should fail, and herein what I do is I join it with this one. That is it success of this one this particular execute task to second insert into transaction test ids two and second should fire and at the package level let's see them again what are the transaction options we have set we have set as required means that at the package level we are starting the transaction and at this particular level we are saying that not supported means that 
uh, it will start its own transaction and it will not participate in the any of the transaction at the package level and no changes will be rolled back so here in the database we have already deleted everything let's start this now this one succeeds this one fails so one comma first should be entered and this one does not get executed at all because here in the precedence constraint we have set as success so let's see that in the database what has been done so we'll see one comma first is available now let's change the precedence constraint to be on completion means that irrespective of results of this one this statement should fire and in the database let me truncate the table I say F5 is no data now now let's say execute the package now now here what is happening is this one succeeds this one fails and this one also succeeds the scope of this one execute statement one this is has got a transaction support of supported and at the package level you have got required and at the package level what has happened is um, it has let's go to the progress and it says that uh, execution method succeeded but number of error raised reached the maximum allowed resulting in failure so which means that the package has been marked as failed so if we go to the this one database level we again select from this we'll just see one comma first again so now let me truncate the table again and we come back here now we say at the package level we change it to supported instead of required means that it will not start a transaction whereas and here in also we have got supported but for this one it will start its own transaction and execute this as well so let me say execute it again again the same results and at the package level we will also see the same thing that at the package level there is a failure but here the scope of this one is supported so what what should happen is the one should get inserted and this one let's see what happens with this one we get the second as well because the herein what you got is supported which will start its own transaction and because the parent at the parent level do you, you do not have any required one so it has not started its transaction so friends uh, the transactions are a very important concept in SSIS and these are pretty simple as well if you understand it um, uh, the concept it's very I means easy to use and uh, all the best thanks